Yo, what's up? Welcome back. This is M-Dog. You know, it's rare that, uh... You know, you look forward to something in, in a game, fishing game like this, Fisher Online. I really have been looking forward to getting to uh, this map. This map being, uh, where are we? Finland. And it's rare that you get there and actually lives up to the expectations, right? But this really has. So, so far, I've had so much fun trolling. It looks like we're already on a fish here. I was hoping that it wasn't too late in the evening to be able to show you some of uh, some of the trolling here. I will show you the setups I'm using. As it gets to be nighttime, if the bites really slow down on trolling, we might even like anchor down and see if we can't catch a, a burbot or catfish. I don't even know what else what's out here for bottom fishing at night, but. We'll do a little exploration and I'll try to get another video uh, during the day of trolling. I'm finding that I can relatively quickly fill up my net with fish. I haven't done it enough times to um, tell you for certain. I know this last time I filled up the net and remember I have the next to largest net. So I don't even have the biggest net, but I filled up my net and it was, it was just under a thousand silver. And with the time it took, which wasn't too bad, that seems like it's at least competing, maybe even better than, but at least competing with what I was kind of averaging in France doing carp fishing. And this is certainly a good change of pace. The XP seems really nice. This fish is right on the border of like, we could have just chased it down, but I think we're gonna get it in pretty quickly. So I think it's okay. I love this boat that we're able to troll in. Uh, and, you know, obviously it's got really good maneuverability. I like the way it looks. We've got two rod holders. I do wish there was a third. Uh, you can take the bigger boat and have access to a lot more rod holders so that you could technically have three, three rods out at the same time. But it is a lot more cumbersome. It's a big boat. You have to move between the deck and the um, and the engine room, uh, although it does allow you to keep more fish. So here's a nice large Arctic char, 1,000 XP, decent silver. And let's take a look at the equipment we're using here. Now, I, I have at some points also just held the third line, and that seems to work fine. I've caught fish on that one as well. Um, but the main two lines we're using are these uh, Katana X-Spin 30s. So I've got this big old reel. The important thing to remember here is that you can use your spinning reels on these spinning rod setups. Uh, even the spinning reels that you've been using for, um, for carp fishing or bottom fishing. So make sure you use your, your, your reels. Remember that when you're setting these up. So we're basically going with 29 kilo strength, and that's going to be the case on both of our lines. So it's just it's going to look a little different. We're using the deep tail M2 on this one. Let's go ahead and catch this fish here, and then I can show you what the setup is. I think we've actually got two fish on right now. Yeah, we do. This one's going to come in nice and smooth though. So you can see the rods are, are identical spinning rods. I do want to save up and get a really nice bait caster and uh, just to kind of see how that one feels. But that's sort of a long-term goal. Right now we're saving our silver. I think I am going to go ahead and get the larger net because this is seems to be so fun and such good fishing out here trolling. And it is a little bit of a boat ride to the part that I'm enjoying trolling the most, sort of down in the deeper part that's pretty far away from, from the dock. And I'll show you the map location. But because of that, even just having that extra 50 grams, 50 kilos or whatever it is of space in the net is probably going to be worth it. It's interesting. This fish was coming in so easily at first, and it is putting up a little bit more of a fight now. Hopefully this will be another species. There's quite a few species you can catch down here trolling. Um, and that's part of what makes it so fun. 
Yeah, that looks like uh, that looks like that's going to be a nice one. Sea salmon. This is one of the red book fish, 2,800 uh, XP. And thankfully, these red books actually do sell for a decent amount of silver. Some of the red books are great XP, but don't sell for a lot. Those are those are pretty good. So, all right, this is a smaller one too. So we can start trolling again and start see if we can get a start getting a fish on that other rod while we're moving. I think this one will come in pretty quickly here. Having a good day though. It's been fun to finally hit uh, hit the level that allowed us to come fish at Finland. And uh, yeah, like I said, so far it hasn't disappointed. I haven't tried bottom fishing yet. It looks like they've got burbot on this map, so it might be interesting. I don't know how what the bite rate is going to be like or how hard to find they'll be. So there's a Baltic salmon. Uh, when they get to be blue size, like large Baltic salmon, they certainly can uh, go way up in XP and, and, and um, silver as well. So let me show you our second rod we're using here. So this has the same type of lure, just a different color. There's a third one too. I do want to try the third one as well, but same, same strength. I am using carp um, line instead of the, uh, instead of the braided um, bait casting basically or, or spinning line that we have on the other one uh, but I think for now it's fine and I'll, I'll get it's like a thousand silver for that line that I have on the first rod so uh, I'll, I'll get that eventually all right let's go ahead and chase this one down we've got two more fish on so you can see the bite rate is just excellent uh, during the day it wasn't this fast um, but it still felt very good Again, down here in the deeper parts. I did try over along the edge. I'll pull up the map here in a second and kind of show you what I've tried. Uh, KP Shimino had a video from a couple months ago. There's another sea salmon, and that's a really nice one, over 3,000 XP. Um, so we did finally hit 26. We're already almost 26 and a half just because of, the, uh, of how good it's been down here. Let's see if we do have a fish on here. I don't think so, right? Okay. All right, so let's look at the map here and we'll just troll, oops. We'll just troll right back. See, I'm doing, if you go in, if you notice the bars at the bottom right of the of the boat speed, the first like five or six blocks are green and then it goes into a darker, like almost a bluish gray. I feel like the appropriate troll speeds is basically keeping it around that green area. So I'm doing between four and five blocks for the most part. Um, but let's look at the map here. So we're down here, when you, you spawn in, you can see it's way up here, right, at where the dock is. So it's a little bit of a boat ride down here, but it's a lot deeper, so this felt like the place to go. When I first started trolling, I was trolling up here. And it was still good, but in a limited amount of testing, I felt like it's been even better down here. The KP Shimino video, he was doing a lot of trolling up here. I'm not even sure if this part of the lake was open at that point. I'm not sure. I'm just sort of guessing. Um, but, and I'm really wondering, like, now that it's nighttime, will we stop catching? One thing I haven't seen, so when I was up here, I was catching more pike as well, mixed in with the other stuff, or with some of the other things. I think some of the species are more down here, but the northern pike, I felt like were more regular up here. So we'll see, especially it gets to be nighttime here. We do have a fish on it. It just seems like it's small and it's not pulling line at all. Um, we'll see if we see any northern pike, because they might be a little more active in the evenings and even late than, um, than they would have been during the day. So let's see if we're, if we're finding any pike down here in the deeper area as well. But one more decent fish, and we're going to be about half full on our net again. And that's why I think I will go ahead and invest in the larger one. Now there's some cool stuff you could possibly do with the other boat. And if we end up back at the dock to look at um, how much fish are worth for one full net, then uh, then I'll show you the other boat kind of, it, it's awesome looking. And I think it has the functionality of being able to freeze some fish. So you can actually keep more fish than what your net allows. Okay, so there's Northern Pike. So it may just be time of day, right? It may just be, that the northern pike are going to be more active down here now that it's nighttime. I bet that's the case. Um, that northern pike was not as much experience 
as some of these other fish have been. Get a little light out here. But that might be what we see more of here at night if we keep trolling. And then, like I said, it might be worth just real quick anchoring down and seeing if there is anything we can catch like the burbot. You see a bunch of gibbles. That could be interesting. Size 2, size 3 hook. See if we can catch a burbot. There are sturgeon and stellet sturgeon. I just don't know. And we also have the timon that have come in. Really large timon. White fish on salmon row. The question is, what is active at night? Because I'm really liking the, you see, we've got brook char, asp, Baltic salmon, Arctic char, lot, grayling, a lot of fish that you'll catch out here, river trout, uh, as you troll around, sea salmon. Um, but the question is, what of the bottom fish are active at night? And um, yeah, we might just, we might just see if we can give it a couple minutes here in a minute to see if we can answer that question. Maybe we'll do one with a bunch of clams. Do I have a bunch of clams? Yes, I've got one bunch of clams and one bunch of giblets. So we could just try one of each of those. Um, and then maybe just try like a fish offal or night crawler. Where's my night crawlers? Could have sworn I had night crawlers. Did I use all the night crawlers? There they are, right down here. Night crawlers. Just see if anything goes on that. Or, you know, just straight mollusk pieces, bait fish. I mean, there's a lot of things we could try, right? But I'm really flying blind here. I mean, I you know, we've kind of figured out how to get trolling working. In terms of in terms of bottom fishing out here in the deep area, I have absolutely no idea. Um, and we, I will have to set them up because right now I've got like carp hunter three, the line and the reel that I'm using are on my actually on my spinning rods right now. This will be our biggest. So let's put a bunch of clams on this one. And uh, krill? I need to buy more krill. Why isn't that going on there? I wonder. I don't know. Maybe when, once we get it out. Maybe you can't do it until you have it out. All right, so this seems like it has slowed down. I mean, we I haven't gone this long without a bite while trolling in quite a while. Here, we'll throw this one out just for a minute too. So on this third rod, a lot less strength, right? We're down to 15 kilos. I don't think I would go any lower than this because even with this one, when I and I'm using a little bit more shallow uh, lure here. It only goes to 3.2 meters. But when I get a decent sized fish on this third rod, you know, it's, it, it takes a lot longer to sort of chase it down and then be patient trying to get it in. But yeah, I'll have to do this again during the daytime because I want to be able to show you just like, oh, I think we have a fish on that first line, don't we? Let's see if this is a pike or if it's something different. Not pulling line at all, so it makes me, makes me suspicious that it's just another small pike. Or it could be an asp. I mean, maybe asp would bite during the night some too. This is definitely something small though. What would be tough though with the other boat is if you ever had to try to chase a fish down, let's look, say you hook into a really big timon 
it's going to be very cumbersome because you're going to be going back and forth between the engine room and then to where your rod is out on the deck. At least I think that's how it would have to work. So that's not going to be easy. Yeah, so that's another pike. So it looks like what we're seeing is at nighttime, mostly pike, right? All right, let's, let's try this. All right, so I know we need to take this off and this off. I think we can leave the leader on. I think I got an extra leader. And this one, do we need this? What are we gonna do with our third rod? I just don't know. That's gonna be our second. That's really the problem, right? Is that we don't. Unless we're gonna float fish for something, but I just cannot imagine there's something that's gonna bite on float fishing. I still haven't gotten, and really all I need to do is save up for another third big feeder rod. So we're gonna use the carp hunter three and the carp hunter two. Beyond that, I'm not sure. Maybe we just go with those two for now. All right, so carp hunter three, we need to put the reel back on. Oh, you know where the reel is? Well, I guess we can use this for now because I don't think we're gonna float fish. We need to put our, where's our line? Is our line on this other, oh, that's right. Our line is, here. All right, so let's we'll have to take it all apart. So Carp Hunter 3, we'll go ahead and put this on now. And then we want our 30 kilo line. And then we want to put krill. Oh yeah, the weight's going to be a little strong. But we don't have a lighter basket. So I think with these bigger baits, and, and that's, that's why saving up for those ultra expensive feeder rods might be worth it is you have such a, a large test available okay so let's just yeah we, we can just throw them back behind us a little bit all right so this is the one with clams Technically, we should probably use this to get the full strength. And this one is going to have the giblets. Let's just see if we can find... I don't think we can use this on this one either. Nope. All right, let's just see if we can find a burbot. And it may be that they bite better on... size two hook look how long that's taken to hit the bottom wow that is so deep is this one this deep as well it won't tell me now will it okay let's just see if we get anything out here. i guess i'm not anchored down let's anchor down and then there's just not a lot we could do oh what was the i mean we could just try putting like something smaller in we don't want to catch only thing we'd want to catch is a burbot so there are no catfish out here so maybe maybe if we use our 18 what's the strongest reel we can put on there 23 this only goes up to 18 though and then we'll do where's our 17 kilo Krill. And we're going to go with a two hook on this one. What do we think Burbit's going to like? I'm thinking night crawlers. I really am. Now, the only problem with this is we just don't have another rod holder. So we just have to hold it and then. Oh, dang. 
We're getting a fish. On this one. I don't think we have any more giblets. Is this a burbot? Did we catch a burbot? How cool would that be? I mean, what else could it be, right? It's got to be a burbot. I would think. Only giblets. Seven kilo burbot. Look at that. It's only 79 XP. So the question is, is it worth any silver at all? Bunch of giblets. Can we make another one? Totally. Totally can. Alright, so we'll just give it a little bit more time and then we'll see if, uh, see kind of what the fish are worth. Like I said, I'll try to do another one. Man, another burbot, I think. They're worth so little XP. I cannot believe it, at least at that size. But I'm really curious. I'm really curious about the, the silver. If they're not worth some silver, it's just not worth going for them, right? This one's not any bigger than the last one, I don't think. May even be slightly smaller. And we have not seen a sturgeon yet. Oh, that one is a little larger, but it's still only 100 XP. It's interesting, like if you think about Russian Fishing 4, isn't it the same thing in that game that now, it's not this extreme, right? Um, but burbot are more silver fish, not XP fish. I think I have that right. But we'll see. This may, it may not even be worth good silver in this one. We'll see, though. All right, so where's the mollusk? I'm just trying to kind of play around here for a minute before we wrap this up. See if we can catch anything else. So deep out here. It's cool. I bet those burbot are pretty common. I, 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 when I was fishing off the shore, there was a, a common roach daily quest here. And I was just throwing like different bait in trying to find roach. And I was catching like tiny burbot, like less than a kilo just randomly sometimes on, you know, worms or different baits. So I just have a feeling that burbot are not that hard to find, but you might need to be out in the deep areas to get these larger ones. So look how close we were. The first one was seven kilo point one seven eight. It was a regular and then seven kilo point nine one five. And all of a sudden we got into large.
I was hoping we might see like a sturgeon, but the sturgeon, maybe they're in specific places. Maybe they're not out here in the deepest part. Um, I haven't, I haven't tried to like actually go on land here. I haven't tried to go on land to see on that island. Uh, if that's even a thing. That's so funny. This keeps like moving as I look up the map. So we're really not... Really not doing a lot out here other than the burbot on the giblets. But I think we could put in like fish offal, fish pieces maybe. There's probably several baits we could catch those burbot on. I think the giblets might just hopefully get a little bit larger burbots. The record is only like 20 kilo. So I don't know that anything larger than, oh sorry, it's only 15 kilo. So size three hook seems like as large as you would want to go. Now the sturgeon is another story. I do wonder if there's a spot off of there that you could fish like right into the deeper area over here. If you didn't want to be in the boat. But if there's a way to sort of get dialed in with bottom fishing at night out here, you could bring the other boat out because then you do have uh, more rod holders as well as the I guess what allows you to like freeze fish to keep a little more than what your net allows. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Let's go ahead and see the silver we made on the few fish we caught. Really curious about those burbot prices. And let's hope we get one more real quick, but it looks like we're not. And then yeah, like I said, I'll try to do another video of just trolling the whole time so you can kind of see what that process is like. Okay, so the large burbot was worth 24 silver, so that's not bad. It's more of a silver fish than a than an X-piece fish. But you can see these, these salmon and arctic char are worth so much. And so if you have a full net of those, it really adds up. Uh, we got 519 mostly just off of these three fish, and then the rest add up a little bit, but... And that's 4,100. I think the big, the big net is actually 45. Is that right? Yeah. So we're almost at where we can get that. So the next time we go trolling, we can actually stay out there quite a while. But this is the other boat I'm talking about. And so to drive the boat, you have to be here. And then you hit U to go to the deck. You see you've got these rod holders all over the place. So, I mean, I think you could troll with this. And then this is the other thing. It allows you to freeze fish. So I think you can up put, take, take up to 20 fish and put them on ice. So like your largest fish as you're catching them, you could put them over here. I don't know. Maybe I'll experiment with this. I just think that if you don't have gear that is strong enough to... Oh, I don't... Can I not get out of the boat unless I'm in this part of the boat? That's funny. If you don't have the strongest gear that's going to allow you to like get those fish in then quickly then it's just going to slow you down because you're not going to be able to chase any of the fish down so that could be pretty frustrating because you can't when you're on the back of the boat like this you can't actually as best i can tell you can't control the boat you have to be in the engine room which makes sense so it's kind of neat something i want to play with but i think we might need like uh and so one of the long-term goals here would be to save up for these um
30 kilo bait casting setups just to see how much how well they work I don't know I think it'd be cool to use them it's not like you're getting much more I mean really any more power so if you've used those let me know is I mean are they worth it um, you know if you look at like the spinning setups we're using here we're already getting 30 kilo strength right so I mean you may have more of a spool yeah, I'm just not sure how much of it's maybe more of a luxury item. Functionally, I don't know that it would make that much of a difference. It would look cool though. <laughs> it would certainly look cool. Okay, so this is Finland, and um, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I've I've really enjoyed it. Imagine catching four time in for bait fish. Or three salmon for bait fish. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.